Do you need an easy Christmas hairstyle that won't take you long, that will look amazing? Yeah, this is it. I'm doing a curly mohawk hairstyle just for you. This is actually easier than it looks, I promise. I'm starting off with sectioning my hair. Begin from the front part is going to be your mohawk. So it's just like an oval part. You don't want it from ear to ear, but you want it just the front bit of your hair. So that's the first section. The next section will be from ear to ear, and then another one from ear to ear, and another one around the back. So it's actually four sections in total. Creating a mohawk hairstyle on curly hair can be a fun and bold choice. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. Gather your tools. Yeah, you're going to need some hair ties or clips. You're going to need a spray bottle. You're going to need a comb to section out the hair. You're going to need some bobby pins as well and some crocodile clips. The product that's made the cut today, the gel I'm using is Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Grapeseed Style and Shine Recipes, the Ice Curls Glossy Curling Jelly. Yeah, this is a good, good one. No mineral oil, no petroleum, no silicones. It's enriched with almond oil and marshmallow root. I find a lot of products that seem to work on my hair have this marshmallow root. I started off on dirty hair. My hair is not clean. I don't really want to detangle my curls. I want the curl effect to still be there. So it's up to you whether you detangle your hair first, but I'm not detangling. I don't have time for that. This is a quick hairstyle, as I said. You can detangle if you want, but it will be more of an Afro style. But I am not doing that. How will I know if a mohawk will fit my face shape? Well, if you're asking yourself if it could suit you, then the answer is yes. It suits pretty much any face shape except for long oval faces. I'm starting from the back working forwards. I've already secured the first section with a hair tie and this is the only product I'm using, of course, for the exception of water, which I'm using in a spray bottle. We just want to get the sections as pristine as possible without having to faff too much. The process is I've tied the back section first and then I'm working forwards. That's because I'm leaving the front section for last so that this can be the best part of the hairstyle and it will look pristine. Apply the water, the spray bottle, to only the root of your hair because that's what we want to be flat, whereas the rest of the hair we want it to be big. Then apply the gel or the product that you're using to the root of the hair as well and brush it down as smooth and as slick as you possibly can. Attempt to tie it into a ponytail. Um, it doesn't need to be extra tight, just so it looks nice and in place. You do not need to add any product to the ends of your hair, only the root, because that is what we're slicking down. The rest of the hair is gonna form the mohawk or the frohawk. I've left out some side pieces as well. Okay, these don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be pristine. You don't have to use a comb. I'm using my finger to section my hair. You can use a comb, of course, but I find when my hair is curly and not wet, when it's dry, it's so hard to section unless I detangle. To get a perfect section, someone else needs to do it for me or I need to detangle my hair. It just doesn't happen for me for some reason. For you, if, that, if you can do that, great. For me, nah, it's not happening. Because I've added water, it is going a bit flat, but it will get bigger. And it, it is easier when you add water to the roots of your hair, so then you can slick it down a bit better. Pro tip for you, for a fro hawk, you don't want to add too much gel. You still want the fro style to show. So if you add too much gel or too much product to the curls, they will just flop down. You want to allow your curls to fall naturally, creating a raised mohawk style. However, if you have straight hair, you will need to add a generous amount of product and then hairspray. You could be asking yourself, why does my hair not stay up? Well, are you adding too much product? Even if you have straight hair, the product you put in your hair can weigh your hair down, which can cause it to flop. Also, over conditioning will put too much moisture in your locks, 
which is less than ideal for styling. Remember, as counterintuitive as it may be, smooth, slippery hair isn't a good thing when you're aiming for a style to hold. You want it firm. None of this lovely, natural, flowing hair detangle free. It's just not what you want. I've done the three sections with hair ties. How do you get your mohawk to stay upright or frohawk? I've got a few tips for you. Stay tuned and I'll explain everything. You really want to listen right to the end because all my tips, I've crammed them into this short video so you will know exactly what you need to do to keep it upright. Now, the front section is the mohawk, yeah? Obviously, the whole thing's mohawk, but the front of the mohawk, you're going to need bobby pins to pin it up out of your eyes. As you can see, my hair's so long, it's over my eyes. So I attempt to pin it up, as you can see, but it wasn't enough to keep it in place or to even make it the shape I required. I then had to pull out the big guns and add a crocodile clip as you can see to clip it in place because the pins weren't doing the job. Didn't want a flat mohawk, you know, it just doesn't have the same effect. So you want to bring it up as much as possible. I did my edges as well, slick them down with a bit of gel. If you're looking for a more structured look, use bobby pins to secure the sides of the mohawk, creating a finer line. They really can make it look perfect. The skill of doing this is patience. Take your time. Don't think, oh no, it's taking too long. I can't get it how I want it. Trust the process. As you go through the process, you will see it form and it will look better and better as you go through. At the moment, it might look crazy. Uh, I put some sideburns, I slicked it down. You need to make sure you slick it down as perfect as you can and let your curls fall into place. They will make the difference. The last and final step is to set and finish. You can add hairspray. I didn't, very light hold hairspray to shape it and adjust and refine your curls until you achieve the desired look. Now it's time to make it your own. You can personalize it by adding clips, add whatever accessories you'd like, just to make it you. You know what I mean? This is what I like earrings, some lipstick, whatever you want. Remember, embrace the uniqueness of your curls and have fun styling your fabulous curly mohawk, aka also known as a frohawk. The end result is phenomenal. I was so much happier than I thought I would be. Just look at these results. It looks great. I was impressed, impressed, impressed. And that's the end result. I was so happy. I was like, wow, I did not expect this. I just put some earrings, a necklace, well, a choker. I put a choker and some lipstick and I was good to go. You can now change into your Christmas outfit and you're ready to go. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hmm? Hmm? Thanks so much for watching Curls by Charlene. If there's any other hairstyles you'd like me to do, please leave it in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.